the place down by the movie theater. Oh yeah, take you guys down, down to the old mill. Show you all the cool stuff that's around there. And as you can see, what we got here is a pool. And obviously it's closed due to COVID. They don't want a whole bunch of people hanging around each other, getting each other sick. So, I mean, I, I do agree with that stance, you know. You don't want to spread this virus by encouraging you know groups of people to congregate and get together and breathe on each other and you know there you go so but i don't know maybe next summer i'll be able to bring you guys over here and i'll show you how many pools that they got how many you know slides and you know jacuzzis or you know whatever that they got so yeah don't need to read all the pool rules and stuff because we're really not going to be doing any of that let's see okay big field there wasn't the congregation restrictions That'd be a great place to you know have a whole group of kids come and play tag or frisbees or I mean whatever you, know, you put kids in a group and more often than not they'll certainly find something to do with each other to find something to talk about I mean kids these days you know a large portion of them require technology to entertain themselves you know cell phone video game television something I don't know what you're back a but you know, I mean, if you think about the days when technology didn't exist, children have always found something to entertain themselves. Spoiled brats of this generation require, you know, expensive things to satisfy their inner their attention but you know hopefully we can get back to the days when you know kids were entertained sitting around playing with a stick as George Carlin says nobody sits around and plays with a stick anymore Looks like we got some tennis courts coming up here. Cute little dog. And okay, you got a looks like a drinking fountain over there. It's probably shut off. But yeah. I mean, they got a one, two, three, oh, it's four tennis courts. Oh, yeah, four tennis courts. That's pretty big. There was, okay, I, I used to live back in Aloha. I lived off 170th Avenue and when I went walking around 
One place I would usually cut through was the football field of Mountain View Middle School. Middle school's on Farmington, but the football field had, you know, this opening on a 170th for like, you know, the um, groundskeepers and lawnmowers and all that to get in there and to do all the grass and all that. Well, I used to walk through that little opening in the fence and cut through the football field in order to get to Farmington Road and either catch the bus on Farmington or cross Farmington and go to the thriftway that was over there. Well, yeah, I don't remember why I started talking about that. Um, yeah, there was that break in the fence and it was big enough that you could twist on your, go through it kind of sideways. And, uh, you know, it was difficult getting a bike through there. I grew up finding that out, but it wasn't impossible to do it, so it was all good. And over here, looks like we got some horseshoe quartz. Let's see, we're glad you play here. We're glad you're here. Temporary use rules, maintain six foot distancing from others at all times. Don't congregate on courts and common areas or parking lots limit or stagger playing groups play singles doubles play with household members only wash hands with soap and water bring and bring hand sanitizer to courts clean and sanitize paddles rackets and water bottles do not share equipment avoid touching gates fences nets benches etc use your paddle racket or a shoe to pass out of play balls Consider wearing gloves to help avoid touching pickle balls or tennis balls. Coordinate your group so each person serves with a different colored or numbered ball. If that's not an option, mark personal balls for individual use. Virtual hand handshakes and high fives only. Do not play if you have coronavirus symptoms mild to severe respiratory illness with fever, coughing, difficulty breathing, or other symptoms identified by the CDC. Have been in contact with someone with COVID-19 in the past 14 days. Do not play if are vulnerable individual and or have underlying health conditions. Use your own judgment to determine your ability to do participate. Play at your own risk. Okay. Come on, bud. There we go. All right. Okay. Got a whole bunch of horseshoe quartz this is <laughs> yeah i i can just imagine after covid19 a, a whole bunch of you know this a whole group of horseshoe guys you know a whole club of people just hanging out here throwing shoes that'd be a lot of fun another central oregon drinking fountain with the dog fountain below Couple of park benches and yeah, so we got a whole bunch of trees out here. Some pretty good looking trees. Excuse 
Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll just go back. I think you could hold this for me for a sec. Thank you. side of these tennis courts over here okay now these trees with the red berries I was told as a child the red berries are poisonous do not eat them so I want to find out what kind of tree that is just out of curiosity walk around the puddle I do have to say, walking around out here in Central Oregon, you know, because I grew up in Beaverton and I was in and out of Portland all the time, I got used to big, tall buildings blocking out most of the sky more often than not. But you come out here to Central Oregon, I honestly don't think I've seen a building taller than 